Marjorie and welcome back to my channel Singing Made Simple. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're talking about vibrato, how you can find it, how you can control it, and how you can use straight tone. So vibrato is an oscillation between two pitches. It's something that our voice does naturally, usually freely, but sometimes that's not true for everyone. Sometimes vibrato can be tricky to find or it can feel like it's hard to control. So I'm gonna be showing you some exercises to, to help you be able to find that vibrato and use it the way you want to. I always tell my clients that you want to be in control of your vibrato. You don't want it to tell you what to do. I always tell my clients that you want to control your vibrato. In other words, you want to tell it what to do. You want to decide where you want to use it in your song so that it's most effective, so that it fits the style of the song and it sounds the most natural and pleasant in your voice. Now, if you're singing classical music, most traditional classical teachers feel like you should be using vibrato all the time. In fact, they may even tell you that if you're not using vibrato, that you're not singing correctly. I don't believe that's true because I think that the vibrato that we use in our voice can change depending on the style of song that we're singing. And some singers do choose to use vibrato a lot. If you think about Dolly Parton, she uses a lot of vibrato and a very fast vibrato pretty much everywhere. It's her thing and she's Dolly, she can do that. But you might decide what fits best for your voice and especially what fits best for the style that you're trying to sing. One way that you might do that, or, or maybe the best way to think about vibrato is to find singers that you really love and determine when they're using vibrato. Listen to their songs and notice if you hear any vibrato. Some singers, you will not hear vibrato in their voice or it's just a tiny smidge at the end of a phrase. Other singers will use it a lot, like like Dolly, like Willie Nelson, but many singers will use it just at the end of a phrase. If you're singing musical theater, it could be appropriate for you to use a lot of vibrato or a wider vibrato or just vibrato at the very end in a really big um, ta-da way. So I wanna show you how to use that vibrato. First, let's do this exercise where you need just one finger and a keyboard is helpful. If you just have a guitar, you certainly could play a pitch that is in a comfortable spot for your voice and do the same thing. What we're gonna do is sing one, two, three, four, five, and when you get to the five, we're gonna hold that. And the first time we hold it, I want you to hold it with straight tone. One, two, three, four, five. Totally straight, no vibrato sneaking in anywhere. All right, this time, we're gonna do that one, two, three, four, five again, and we're gonna sing vibrato the whole time from the get-go, as, as soon as you sing that five. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. No straight tone to be found. All right, this time, we're gonna sing straight tone with just a little vibrato at the end. One, two, three, four, five. And I want you to be able to control it so that as soon as you wiggle your finger, or if you do it with me, as soon as I'm wiggling my finger, you go to vibrato. It doesn't happen slowly, but you go immediately there. Let's just talk about finding it because some of you are thinking, I just don't even know how to find vibrato. We're gonna use kind of a little shake method, and this is gonna sound crazy because I don't actually want you to make your vibrato by your jaw, like moving your jaw really tightly. I happen to have what they sometimes call a gospel jaw. That means when I sing, yeah, my vibrato will, I mean, my, <laughs> my chin will move just a little. And it's not because of tightness or because I'm making my vibrato here, it's because uh, it's just loose. And so that's a good thing. But if you find that you're singing, ah, and, you're, and your jaw is making that vibrato, we don't want that, right? That brings tension. We want to get rid of anything that smacks of tension at all. So, but you might need to move something just to feel that vibrato is working and to let your body sort of feel like what you're going for. So I suggest the fingers. That's why I went, ah, and, you, and I always say you want it to be like a perfect EKG. So you don't want, ah, which of course you don't, but you don't want it to be extremely even, right? And so, but for some of you, maybe a handshake, it might take a little more than that. Maybe you have to go, ah, which sounds ridiculous maybe to you, but some people really struggle finding vibrato and it just feels like it can't come out. I will say more than shaking or moving anything, I think the best way, the quickest way for you to learn vibrato is to listen to singers that you like and try to mimic them. Because I really believe that if you think about it, you can do that, you can mimic them. 
there could be some reasons why you can't. And it could be that you really are straining already. Your strain is happening, so then to add vibrato to that is just not going to work. You've got to make sure you're singing a free and easy tone. Start by putting it in that really simple, easy place to sing and do vibrato there first. Then you might move up higher in your range, lower in your range, and still try to be sure that the vibrato is there or you can use it the way you want to. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about vibrato. It's the oscillation between two pitches and we just want it to be quick and even, and we want to use it where we want to. What about straight tone? Straight tone is so important because really most of what we sing uses straight tone. If you're singing any kind of modern style, if you're singing pop, rock, R&B, country, jazz, punk, yeah, it's all using straight tone, right? With just a little vibrato at the end. Musical theater as well, especially modern musical theater. So you want to be able to hold that pitch and not let any vibrato creep in. The hardest thing about that, I think, is we just forget and we relax and we can just let that vibrato happen, especially if you're of a certain age like me. All of my music when I was younger, the music that I started singing when I was growing up in churches and things all had a lot of vibrato in it. So I have to remember to pay attention to that and to pull it out. I was recently in the studio recording something with my son, Jordy, and with my husband, and um, we, I was doing background vocals and everything was great, but Jordy had to pause at one point and say, oh, can you do that again and take out the vibrato? And sure, no problem, I could do that if I thought of it. And I was there also as the vibrato police for George because there were lots of places when he was doing his lead vocal that he needed to pay attention and take out that vibrato. And of course, he was able to do it, but sometimes we don't notice how much we're letting sneak in with our tone and sort of take away our style and change the style a little bit. And for us, maybe make it sound a little bit older, a little bit more formal than we want. All right, so straight tone. One, two, three, four, five. One thing you notice when I sing that five and I do that straight tone or the vibrato is I don't chew the vowel. So five, it's like I cut it off. And I'll go to that V on five till the very end. So you don't want to go five, right? Obviously you don't, but you'll be surprised. Lots of folks do that. Or when they go to vibrato, one, two, three, four, five, they go to the Eve. I didn't do that very well, but they go to the Eve at the end and close off that vowel. And you want it to be clean and you want to be in control of your vibrato and your straight tone. So if you're struggling to find vibrato, what are the things to do? Listen to singers who are using vibrato and try to mimic them. Try to do the shaky thing. Shake your hand, shake your shoulders, shake your body a little bit, as long as there's not a lot of tension in your jaw and you're not trying to make that vibrato with your jaw. Then shake a little bit and try to see if you can find that vibrato, find a little bit of freedom. You know, sometimes we just have to try something a little different because we've done something the same way over and over and we're just not getting success. So shake it up and try something a little bit different and see if you can find that vibrato. If you're struggling with straight tone, also listen to singers who you love and pay attention to where they let the vibrato come into their sound. It's probably a lot of straight tone you're gonna hear on any modern style and try to copy that and you will gain control. You'll get more and more muscle memory so that you can choose where to put your vibrato. You can control your vibrato and not let it control you. If you have been classically trained, this is gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of work because like me, you learn to sing vibrato everywhere throughout your song. And so singing with straight tone seemed boring. Now, if you've been singing only with straight tone, never tried to find vibrato, you're gonna find the opposite. It's gonna feel very funny. And singing with vibrato is gonna feel a little bit like you're a duck out of water. But I want you to give it a try because you're gonna find that you can do so much more with style with your voice and have so much more control and sound um, a little warmer, a little more beautiful on some of your songs if you can add just a tweak a vibrato at the very end. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love your comments below. I love to read what you're writing me and to answer you back. So let me know if you have any questions about how to find vibrato, what it sounds like in your voice, and maybe some examples of singers who are using it in some different ways so that you could try to copy that. I hope you have a great day and you come back and see me again at Singing Made Simple. Bye.